Metro Bassin. Today we are in front of the house of my 93 year old grandmother. We're here over Thanksgiving back in Maryland for that most important of Thanksgiving traditions. Of course we did turkey dinner last night but that's not what we're talking about and we're not talking about football either. Instead I'm talking about one of the most prestigious titles in all of non-professional fishing. That is this, the Piss Master Classic Championship. Growing up in Maryland with a ton of family in and around the area, we would fish a ton in the Severn and Magothy Rivers for a little fish known as the Chain Pickerel. Now to many this is a trash fish, something that gets on the line when you're bass fishing you kind of get mad, it destroys your good bass lures, and you get them off as quickly as possible. However, around these parts, it's actually quite a special fish, and we actually target them, and always have quite a bit. Now in my family, just like all families, I've got uncles, I've got cousins, and we're a pretty competitive bunch. And often, especially around Thanksgiving time, the debate would turn as to who was the best pickerel fisherman in the family. Well, back in 2006, we decided to officially settle that bet by creating this. The Piss Master Classic. It's based off an organization we founded in 2006 known as the Pickerel International Sports and Society, which this year has, I think, 12 members. We created a tournament and we run it on the Saturday after Thanksgiving every year. Their friends and family vie for the title of Grand Champion of the Piss Master Classic. The rules are simple. You can fish anywhere in the Severn or the Magothy Rivers, which are both tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. You got six hours to fish from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the winning boat is the one that catches the three longest pickerel. This year I made a special trip back to Maryland to fish the Piss Master Classic. Since moving to Texas two years ago, I've actually missed this tournament, but this year we're in the 14th year and I had to make it back. Now my cousin Mike got me set up with a boat. I've got a 13 foot Boston Whaler which can be fishing on the Magothy River. And of course I decided to fish it old school this week and I brought some retro rods, lures, and other tackle. Now I don't go anywhere with at least some old school tackle and I brought a vintage Plano tackle box chock full of retro lures. So that's it, I've got my tackle rigged up. Uh, I've been told the boat is ready to rock and roll. It is the Friday after Thanksgiving. All that's left to do is to go see my grandmother and head to the captain's meeting down at Adam's Ribs tonight. So I'm gonna go hang out with my mom for a little bit. I'll see y'all soon. Well, here we are in the morning of the Piss Master Classic. Behind me is the classic 13 foot Boston Whaler, which was the first boat I ever fished with on these two rivers. Usually we've got the worst weather for this. I'm talking freezing water, wind, rain. It's flat calm. We got a ton of water and it's about 39 degrees. Let's get to it. All right, it's about go time here. Got four boats milling about. The question is, I don't know where everybody's gonna be heading. Uh, got a tip from Angles yesterday about hitting a little place called Little Magothy River. But then uh, Kevin and Josh mentioned that last night, so I don't know if they know about it or not. But we're gonna follow them out. If they go left, we're gonna go right. If they go right, we're gonna go straight. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Little known fact, did you know that uh, Jimmy Buffett's first boat was a 13 foot Boston Whaler?
got one minute left to the official start of the 14th annual Pissmaster Classic. Of course, Team Cheat Uncles has been fishing the 14th annual Pissmaster Classic for the past half an hour already, because that's what they do. <laughs> but we're going to wait till 8. Go time. All right, let's do it. I'm about an hour into the tournament. The wind picked up a little bit and it pretty much blew out the one cove that we were fishing, so we moved out of there. So my cousin Tim get one fish right out of the gates on a orange spoon, so switched over to that. Didn't get any bites, but now we're in another cove. Hopefully a little bit less windy up in here, because I think this guy's a little cold. This bank looks pretty fishy. A little status update here. It's almost 11 o'clock. We're approximately three hours or halfway into the tournament. We haven't seen a fish yet. This is by far the slowest start we've ever had in 14 years of this uh, this tourney. So um, we're in the creeks. We saw some other competitor boats in there. I didn't see anybody but Tim catch a fish today. We're out on the main river now, working this sort of reedy flat you can see. Sometimes in the winter I find the pickerel get out here on the main river. I've never fished this flat before, but I saw it on Google last night, so we'll see. Well, the clock just struck 12. That means we're officially two-thirds of the way through this tournament. And we have not even seen a fish. Yeah, at this point, it's really not about winning so much as it is about surviving. Uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta get something. Picked our last spot of the day. We are in Little Magathy. Um, it's a spot that at an angler's had two different people say there's fish in here. A little bit windy getting here, a little bit rough, but we finally got in. We're gonna camp out here, paddle around, and try to find something. Oh. I feel like it looks good in here. Everybody, welcome to the 14th annual Piss Master Classic. Thank you guys. Uh, it's been 14 years, as you probably know. Uh, we've missed the past two having moved to Texas. So, um, suffice to say, I don't think my pickerel skills got any sharper over the past two years of uh, hiatus, but we'll see. And first, I'm going to need a representative, Team Dingus, to come up. <laughs> so, Colin, what were your top three? We had a uh, 18 and a half. A 19 and a half, and an 18 and a half got bit off by Mako. And what's your grand total? 56 and a half. 56 and a half. All right, in the hot seat. All right, next from Team Retro Bass and Alex, come on up. There was, there might have been a five fish minimum, but even if there was a one fish minimum. A grand total, Alex, uh, of three fish measured exactly how much? Um, so we didn't have our normal measuring stick oh. that we used. Oh. Oh. It's true, we, it's true. We, I, I have to preface it with that. Um, you pull we right normally have the hog trough that it, it sits in there perfect. It, it's, it's very accurate. Oh. Um, but I, if we had to round down, which I guess we would normally do, to the nearest waist, the nearest eighth inch or quarter, by the way, before we do this. Yeah. Quarter. Quarter, okay, Can good, we decide good. on the quarter? Well, okay, good, just, just so we know. Okay, perfectly. So we would have to round down to exactly 0, 0.0 inches. Um, it was by far our worst performance ever. We fished 
hard. Did you guys go to Donnelly's? Because you came from that way. <laughs> We were trolling in the bay for a while. We didn't catch any. Now we, we hit all the spots. Uh, we fished with what we thought were pretty effective baits. Spots. And we um, we didn't see a fish. We didn't miss a fish all day long. That's true. No, we didn't miss a fish, but on the plus side, we never missed a shot either. <laughs> so we batted 100. Team Lip Ripper. Who do we have from Team Lip Ripper? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> How do you know this? All right, come on up. I'm waiting until the last minute, though. So how was your day? It was pretty good. A little chilly. A little chilly? A little chilly. I got a little wind burn. Yeah. How many uh, fish did you catch total, by the way? More Four. than zero? Four. Four total. Okay. What was your big fish before we get going into the top three? Uh, 24 and three quarters. 24 and three quarter. Well, that's a big fish. All right. What was your grand total for three fish? 65. 65 inches. All right. Oh, yeah. Hot seat. Come on in. Oh, yeah. It's a nice catch. Team Cheat Knuckles. So by the way, uh, before Randy comes up here, when do we start fishing? Six. Six? Okay. So I wanted to make sure it was a six o'clock tournament. Six. Six. Well, apparently Randy missed daylight savings time, but anyway, uh, that's... Well... <laughs> For Team Cheat Nobles, <laughs> Team Rippin' Lips came by Team Dingus, and he said, oh, you guys are fishing already? So I thought, well, this will be good enough for me. Okay. So we decided to start fishing at that point. On the plus side, Craig and I caught uh, 14 pickle today. Woo! Damn. 14. But unfortunately, our biggest fish was 20 and a half. We had a 20 and a 19 for a total of 59 and a half. So, uh, nice. yeah. All right. Way to go, guys. Oh, yeah. Hang in there. Good catch. Oh, yeah. All right. We got uh, two teams left. Team Heathen. Send somebody on up. So, by the way, Team Heathen definitely had the biggest boat in the tournament. So, <laughs> what were you fishing with? And by the way, this is not the way we were trying this, all right? Well, I was trying. I thought those guys were that 100 footer in there. We'll just... So, how many feet is your regulator? 26. 26, nice. okay. Only by five. Yeah. I only had one motor running at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I like the rest of us. <laughs> um, we had an alright day. It was uh, start. We came on buzzing by you guys, everybody there. We set up in our old spot and uh, it was very slow off the get-go. We only pulled one fish out of the magic spot. We kind of worked some spots we didn't work before. We ended up with uh, 24, a 23, and a 22 for a total of 69 inches. So. 69, and you are? 65. 65. All right. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so as is the tradition with the Bismatch Classic, the last to weigh in is last year's champion. So last year we had Team Hyperlight, which again, pending a uh, you know uh, a meeting with the rule committee, might change our name next year. We'll see. <laughs> right, Josh. Well, how was your day? We saw you uh, in one of the creeks. We won't name it, but we yeah. saw you out there fishing. Yeah, yeah, we saw you. Uh, first slow day for us. I think we got our first bite at. 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and uh, it was tough, you know, it uh, wasn't the best day, we've had better days, but we made the best of it, we caught our last fish right before 2 o'clock, you know, okay. 155 to get our three fish total, All right. and uh, it's the way it was, and at least we had a pretty day, and our uh, total for three fish aggregate was 60 and three quarters. All right, well that means that Team Heathen wins the championship. Everybody from Team Heathen, come on up. Good job, guys. <laughs> Going in here with the, uh, Don't drop it. With the trophy presentation, Mr. Duff. <laughs> Hold it, Duff, grab it. <laughs> come on out, get a good one for me, please. <laughs> So who actually caught that 24 and three quarter inch pickerel? Matt, come on up. There you go, bud. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> can we, can we? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Did anybody catch a perch? Uh, yeah. 
So what's the, what's the bylaws on that? Did anybody catch a striper? No. Did you really? Who caught the biggest striper? What do you got? How big? Uh, Roughly? Was it a keeper? It has to be a keeper to qualify. Anybody else? Anybody the stripers? All right, Josh. Hey, I think that's the largest perch. Congratulations. Thank you. Largest perch striper. All right, guys, thanks again. 2014 Fist Master Class. Twenty. Oh yeah. Well, it's 2019. I'll edit that out. That's what I do.